Hi, my name's Charlotte, I'm here from SR Nutrition and today's video blog is all about caffeine intake during pregnancy. So for those of you who are currently trying to conceive or for those of you who are currently pregnant, you may be aware that there are limitations as to how much caffeine you should have during pregnancy. Now, the maximum amount you should have is around about 200 milligrams of caffeine per day. And to put this into context a little bit, one cup or one mug of tea contains about 75 milligrams and one cup or one mug of coffee contains roughly about 100 milligrams of caffeine. Now obviously teas and coffees do vary from different branches, different manufacturers and also depending on how big your cup is and how long they've brewed for. However, that's roughly the right amount. So you can see that having just one cup of tea and one cup of coffee per day can almost bring you up towards your maximum amount that you should be having. So for that reason, it's a really good idea to know what alternatives you can and can't have during pregnancy. First and foremost, it's a really good idea to have a look at what your favourite cup of tea or coffee do as a decaf version. There are plenty of decaf teas and decaf coffees on the market that you can choose from and it's just a really good idea to search out which, one, which ones you like the taste best of and try and use those as much as possible. On top of this, there of course is um, options such as lemon and ginger teas or mint teas, which can be really good and really refreshing options during pregnancy. And things like red bush or rory bush tea, um, again, are decaffeinated naturally. And so really good options for refreshing and still getting that nice tea taste and tea feeling during pregnancy too. Herbal teas and fruit teas are also a good option, but with herbal teas you do need to be a little bit careful and the recommendation is to have no more than around about four cups of herbal tea per day. That's simply because high levels of some herbs can be a little bit dangerous and we just don't know enough about them. So although herbal teas are fine, it's a good idea to keep them to under four cups of herbal tea per day. On top of this, there are plenty of other drinks that you can choose from. It's best to go for low calorie options and of course, you never can do better than, hide, than some water for hydration too. So make sure you're keeping yourself well hydrated, try and reduce the amount of caffeine you're having per day and choose a variety of different fluid options like lemon and ginger, mint tea, some herbal tea, some fruit teas, red bush tea, um, decaffeinated teas and coffees but also making sure you're getting plenty of water in there too. Thanks for listening. Do send any questions, any thoughts or any ideas on other options of teas you could have to info at srnutrition.co.uk. Thank you.